Hello space peeps, Athena here. I have something very exciting to share with you all and it's about one of my favorite subjects in astrophysics called a probe lid. So a probe lid stands for a protoplanetary disk and I did a video once about these. Um, it's a really, really old video because it was based off of my research that I spent most of my time in my undergrad actually doing. So a protoplanetary disk, an easy way to explain it, is um, an accretion of dust and gas and icy materials from space that accumulate around a newborn, a newborn star. And this disk starts to eventually um, condense into planets. Um, but it usually takes mil millions and millions of years. However, recent, recent discovery and research actually shows about 20 probe lids. There's been very high resolution images taken of them and they're only around a million years old. One million years, not five million years. And there's already gaps and rings starting to form in the accretion disk. I know it sounds kind of like weird, like what, why does that matter? But what that is, is these gaps and these rings are starting to show that the dust that's accumulating in the disk around the newborn star is already starting to condense. And what starts to happen is eventually these icy materials start to coalesce into um, like asteroids and then they start to coalesce eventually into planetesimals and then eventually into planets and planets can form. So this is very exciting new discovery because this shows the speed in which um, planets can actually form in probe lids. So what's like, you know, crazy is again, it usually would take millions of years, like three to five million years to actually even start to notice, you know, uh, any type of formation like this start to happen. But instead it's happening at only one million years old. So this is the most high resolution images we've ever had before and data collected. Um, from Alma, which I'll get into in a second. And it's it's such breakthrough breakthrough research and it makes me really, really excited. So this research was collected by Alma. And Alma stands for the Atacama Large Millimeter and Submillimeter Array. It's based out in Chile and it collects such incredible amounts of data, especially on protoplanetary disks. So um, what it ended up finding, it was able to measure subparticles around newborn stars or protostars, what astronomers like to call it. And it was able to actually measure the distribution to be able to detect these gaps and these rings. So let me break down a little bit with you guys about what a probe lid is. Um, also, I did make a video about this if you want to watch it as well. Um, but a protoplanetary disk um, is found in regions like the Orion Nebula, for instance. So the Orion Nebula is a big region of space just filled with dust and gas and really cold icy materials. And this is literally like a called a stellar nursery because it has all the vital elements that um, will eventually condense and collapse under gravity to form newborn stars. And newborn stars spin really, really fast and they start increasing in speed. And when this happens, they start to accumulate all nearby dust and gas. And that starts to accrete into something known as an accretion disk, so pretty straightforward. And um, that actually starts to, well, circle around the newborn star. And what can start to happen over a few million years is um, certain regions will start to condense and eventually start to form asteroids, and start to form planetesimals, and then eventually can start to form planets. So for me, this is a great way, um, I mean, in my opinion, to not only try to find life beyond Earth, but also start to figure out who we are and how we got here and how our whole solar system forms, because we can literally watch it as it's forming. I think it's so fascinating. The universe is filled with birth, life, and then death, and then the cycle process all over again. It's really fascinating. So um, what ended up happening was with um, this data that was collected, um, they were able to actually hone in on one of these, uh, on actually 20 of these um, protoplanetary disks as close as three times the distance of, of Neptune. So that's like if an alien species was looking into our solar system and looked at the distance between the sun and then three times the distance of Neptune. That's how much we're able to zoom in on some of these probe lids, which is incredible because we're here on Earth and we're able to see that far into our, our universe, into space, and be able to actually see what's happening in these new disks. So. This is um, really exciting, the fact that we actually have been able to now find um, this whole new um, like speeding process in which this... Now something known as the Disk Substructures at High Angular Resolutions Project, also known as D-Sharp, um, they're also actually helping out with analyzing this research and they've been finding a really few interesting things. Um, so they actually partner with Alma and they've been able to analyze the subparticles of um, the disk itself. Alma collected data that D-Sharp then 
analyze and they were able to measure the density distribution of these particles that surround these newborn stars. It is like literally fascinating because they were able to measure as small as only a few astronomical units. And to put that to scale, an astronomical unit is the distance between the sun and earth and that's about 150 million kilometers in distance. I know it seems really really long but when it comes to a cosmological scale it's actually quite small. It's like having um, a distant alien species about 2,000 light years away be able to see into our solar system between like the sun and then like three times the distance of Jupiter because that's about how far um, we were able to actually measure is about three times the distance of Jupiter from the sun. So that is fascinating because we were able to collect an entire image of all of these protoplanetary disks really not that far from us, only a few thousand light years. And again, that's really close on a cosmological scale. So the fact that this is the first time we've been able to do this and collect this data is so exciting and so fascinating, and especially since it's been discovered that you know, these, these um, actual well-structured um, disks can actually be forming uh, rings and gaps at only a million years rather than five million years. I mean, that might tell us a lot about how Earth formed and other rocky planets. Like maybe they formed a lot sooner and a lot younger than we actually previously thought. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys for this video. I'm immediately making another video right after this one um, that's gonna be following up on this research about a new discovery that was made in a proplet, except this time it wasn't a planet that formed, it was a star. So I have to tell you guys all about that, so make sure you tune in next week for my following video. Um, and I, I just can't wait, maybe I'll release it sooner. If you guys like this video and you enjoy learning about space travel and astrophysics, please give me a subscribe and hit that little bell so that you know when my videos drop because sometimes they drop spontaneously like when exciting news like this comes out. Um, and also if you guys wanted to help contribute to the show, um, I do have a Patreon channel. So you can head on over to patreon.com slash astroathens. Um, on there, I love getting all of your opinions about like what type of um, episodes I should do first. And I usually will release these episodes before I release it to the public to maybe get some insight as far as like what else I could add to the video. Um, I love getting your insight on everything. I also host um, like virtual parties every now and then and I have some really cool space goodies as well that I've been mailing out to my Patreons. So thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!